Hello, America. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my review of 90 Day Fiance, Season 7, Episode 5. <sighs> two hours. Two. Two hours. I've watched the show. Two hours. I started at 4.48. It's now 6.41. And may I say that I'm very bored? Is that something that I can say? I'm bored. Um, the show is not picking up steam. Anyway, did anybody see the uh, preview when um, Blake, his mother and stepfather, I guess said, I don't know, it could be manufactured TV drama, when they said they she can't stay with them because, you know, old world values, like... Y'all knew that this woman was coming, right? Anyway. So, we see Mike and Natalie. Oh, today is the last day for my Black Friday sale. So you can get up to 30% off of selected items and 15% off of everything else. Um, after this, there will be no more Black Friday sales. So, you know. If you want something, you better get it. So, we see Mike and Natalie they are making breakfast um apparently the sex was incredible i'm so glad that i was able to hear about that in the first one second of um the show <sighs> she he's like where's your mother she like oh i got something to tell you i'm like is something wrong with the mother because she like i've got something to tell you but i don't know how to say it and he like what and she like and he like what and she like and he like, what? And she like, I want a baby. And she like, she's getting older. And she thinks that they both be great parents. And he's like, yeah, you know, I, basically, he wants to have a child. But he can't have a child because he's in debt. And he has not told her about said debt. So basically, he can't have a child with her right now because he won't be able to take care of it because he is debt stricken so yeah she's like come on please he like no because you know i want you to get to america first and she like but i could like be pregnant now and he like no and then he like well i want to experience things like you know seeing the baby you know Okay, seeing the baby, like, come out or, you know, an ultrasound and all of that. And she's like, I wish my camera would focus. She's like, okay, but anyway, I want a baby. And he, like, <sighs> sooner rather than later, I guess. But then he says that um, he... Says that he doesn't want to be rushed into any of the situations. And I mean, you could like maybe not say 16 times, please, please, can we have a baby? Be, but I know that she does want a child. So like, I understand, but like, it was a little too much. Just a, just a tad bit too much. Anyway, we see... Who do we see? Oh, we still see them. They are going to meet her friends, uh, Svetlana. Svetlana. Um, her friend is like, you know that her heart was broken, right? And, and you know, do you know the severity of it? He like, no, I don't know the, the severity of it, but I'm here to patch it up and make her whole. And I'm like, oh, okay, don't say stuff like that. And so then... Um, the friend asks about children, and he says they'll be here, you know, we just need to get things settled. Then the friend asks about religion. And he says, I don't believe in God, which that's fine. Like, you know, we all have free will and free thinking and have our own brains. But then he said... You know, I believe in a higher civilization. He said, he didn't say civilization. He said civilization. He, 
th that was a, the first word out of two words he max messed up on. Civilization. It was something that he said. He added an extra. And I was like, bro, what's going on? Anyway, he says that he believes in aliens. And that aliens are the gods. And it's crazy because low-key, I believe in aliens as well. But I believe the aliens are the demons. So I was really confused. But I was like, you know, I probably wouldn't tell somebody that off the bat. Like... Do you worship the aliens? You know, it's cool to say, hey, I believe in aliens. But then he talking about, I think that they're the they're the gods. And I was just like, okay, you could have kept that to yourself. Anyway, the friend thinks that this whole religious situation will be a problem, you know, if they have a child. Because is the child going to get baptized? Is the child going to get christened? Is the child going to get placed in the middle of a crop circle do they still do crop circles is that what it's called crop sign it's a crop circle right y'all i don't i don't know the bit watch the movie the fourth kind was it the fourth kind or was it the fifth kind hmm. look up the fourth kind and if that ain't a movie look up the fifth kind that's when i started thinking that these aliens was demons okay i'm sorry anyway and now i'm just i'm just as bad as him i said don't be getting on here telling people your religious beliefs if they sound a little bit crazy and i'm sitting up here talking about i believe the aliens are the demons anyway don't okay don't don't come for me because i definitely will come for you in those comments don't i got time right today at 6 48 p.m i got time honey anyway so um they go and they work out and he was running but it looked like he was in pain. It looked like his knees was hurting. And I know he's six seven, so you know I know that you know them big people be like, you know, giants. And but he was just running real crazy. So as they was running, he was like, "Did your husband, your ex husband, used to run?" And sh and she was like, "Yeah." And then she was like, "Don't be asking me about my ex husband." Basically, what she said in the confessional is that you know she loved her ex husband. They was cool and everything thing but she wanted to have kids and he didn't and that basically caused a damper in their relationship and she couldn't get over him so the best thing she thought to do was to get into another relationship and I was like that's those are not things that you say <sighs> those are not things that you say those are not things that you say if you're trying to convince me that you love the person that you're with now. But anyway, um, he said that, you know, since Svet, 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 Svetlana had brought it up last night that he, you know, just wanted to know, like, the, the deepness of the pain. But I guess he shouldn't have brought nothing up. So, you know, he just going to keep it pushing. He just ain't going to ask about it no more. And with that, the episode was over. I don't know why they decided to go with them for the closer, but they definitely did. So so we see Michael and Juliana. They are going out for a spin. They're going furniture shopping because they're going to be moving into the new house in a minute. So um, she likes his car. It's really badass. He says that she can drive stick shift, which is an amazing quality in a woman. And I'm like, keep it in your damn pants, Michael. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, it's too many people on this show named Michael. And plus, Michael and Angela is coming back next week. Y'all, why? 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 I don't want to see them. I don't want to see, baby. I don't want to see that. I, she said, why the fuck? <laughs> Angela going to sit up there in that damn... Um, promo for next next week's episode talking about it's either k1 or k done and i said wow did wow did you come up with that all by yourself god anyway they go into this place with fourteen thousand dollar furniture uh, the couch was fourteen thousand dollars it was modular i don't know i guess it's like you know like a sectional who the fuck knows okay it was fourteen thousand dollars and i said I'm not even 
there are some things that are worth $14,000. But looking at that couch, that couch is not worth $14,000. I'm about to take my ass to Ikea, okay, and go get me something. I could buy some black couches for about $3,500. Huh? Fourteen. Anyway, he's very hesitant to buy the couch. She's like, okay, yeah. So they go sit down for coffee and they discuss the car situation. He was hurt by the car situation because he thought that she had given up on the visa. And I was like, do I have to spell this out for you, Michael? She's like, yeah, I did give up on the visa, you know, so I did think that, you know, maybe I was just going to stay here. But he's like, so now where is the car? It's just sitting at home, right? And she was like, no, my sister is using it. She's using it, using it as a cab to make money. He's like, maybe I don't see, like, maybe I'm not looking into this deep enough, but it just really hurt me because I thought she didn't care about our relationship. Bro, don't nobody give a fuck about your relationship, okay? She love your ass, okay? She wants to be with you. She's here, ain't she? You do have to think about the fact that she has a family and maybe she bought the car for her family, so, you know, if she stayed there, she would have had a car. But if she didn't stay there, then her family would have had a car. Has he even ever met any of her family? What the fuck? Anyway, I was just annoyed. Because I'm like, are you dumb? Are you dumb? She's using, now, now her sister has a way to make money. Now her sister got a whole car. Nigga, you don't even understand the opportunity that opened up for me when I had a fucking car, when I bought a damn car. I'm talking about me, camera. Like, what? What? Like, what are you talking about? This girl is out here doing what she needs to do. And you said it hurt me. Okay, but she in America. Anyway, I'm sorry. I just got really annoyed. Anyway, but that house was nice. You know, I do love me a good house. I do, just like my mama, I do love me a good house, honey. I do. Hardwood floors. The paint on the walls was a little, I don't know, older. You know, I ain't like that that dark blue or that medium sandy blue. It wasn't, it wasn't hidden for me. Um, the countertops could have been granite, like marble is what I mean, not granite. But, you know. They didn't show the kitchen, which is crazy. They should have. But, you know, we, we can't be looking all through this man's house. But I do expect for TLC to show more of the house. Um. Anyway, they're all, you know, getting in the car to go to the house. And the son is like, you know, things all happen so fast. The daughter says that. And the son is like, now my father has to split up time between three people. And, you know, other things have changed because now I got to sit in the back seat. But, you know, everything is cool. And I'm just like, that's such a kid answer. But why does your father not own any cars that are not sports cars? Like, I was thinking, like, do we not own a pickup truck? Not a pickup truck, an SUV? Anyway. Um, the producers asked Juliana, how do you think your family feels about you being here? And she's like, you know, I try not to really think about it or like talk about it because I know that they have their own problems. And see, that's the thing. I don't want her, like, I know that she got to send money back, but I don't want him to be like, what, what is it? Like, are you... I just want to know, like, has has he met her family? Like, I'd love to see the dynamic. I'd love to see when they get married, because, you know, they got married. Um, I'd love to see for his fam her family to be there. Like, I just, I don't know. It seemed like, like, if the story that I read about Juliana was true, then she's had a hard life. And I just hope that this is some happiness that she will be able to obtain and not on and feel like she deserves and you know actually be able to help her family and not have some some old man breathing down her neck talking about why did you buy a car juliana like shut up bro you shouldn't have gave me a credit card if you ain't want me to buy a car i know that that's irresponsible but and so anyway because i'm getting bored this whole episode was boring. I'm like, two hours for this? We see um, Jasmine and Blake. 
real quick. Okay. He wants to introduce her to his friends. She like, I'm jet lagged. I'd kind of like to stay in the house. Um, she could make a lot of money doing Iggy Azalea impersonations. Take her down to Vegas. Fire man. Fire man. She would make a lot of money doing Iggy Azalea impersonations. That's all I got to say. Um, did I say <laughs> fire man? Fire man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, um, so all of his friends come and, you know, she cool, they cool. He orders a drink. She don't want him to order a drink because she don't drink. And I said, now stop it right there. Let me tell you something. I dibble and dabble in a little bit of the alcohol every now and then, okay? I still have some in the refrigerator that has my name on it a little bit later in the day. Um, and she like, she don't want him to drink because she don't drink and she don't want to kiss him with alcohol on his breath. You just gonna have to get over it. You know, I, I don't... It seems like the people who, like... With the whole religion thing, like, you know, Natalie really cares about God and she really loves God. And she wants, you know, to, I guess, show Mike the way about God. But it's like, we can coexist with you and I not having to have the same beliefs. You know, certain people always need you to have their same beliefs. And it's like, chill out, okay? Chill out. I don't believe in aliens. Well, I do, but I don't believe that they're gods and you shouldn't have to believe that there is a God, okay? But anyway, so they're talking, they're asking her questions. Like 18 friends get here and I look, I'm, this is going to sound mean, but it looked like a casting call for a fucking, for, for a diverse cast. That's all I'm gotta, I gotta say. I know that they might have all been friends, but it just looks like a casting call to me. So... They're asking questions, and she's just like, yeah, basically, she's an introvert. To wrap all this up, she is an introvert. She said that she wanted to relax, but he didn't want her to relax. So then in the middle, she was like, you know what? I'm going to just head on up. You know, I'm going to just lay down. He was a little bit sad that she laid, laid down, and he wanted her to push through it. But then he said, but I know the type of person that she is, so I understand. So if you know the type of person that she is, why are you shocked that she went upstairs and wanted to have some time to herself? Huh? Okay. And then they go out to dinner. Um, what did she say? She said something that, oh, I guess because they were, um, talking about something and he was like, I didn't know if you wanted me to go upstairs, you know, like to see if you were okay. She was like, no, if I go upstairs and I'm okay, I just want to be left alone. And he's like, that's really hard to hear. And I'm like, bro, everything is not this deep. Okay. Like, I know that you like her. It seems like she likes you. Just seems like she's an introvert in a whole nother country. And her sister is off in New York. So she can't even like find peace in having somebody there because her sister's not even there right now. So, he asks her, how does she like Rita, who is one of his friends? And she's like, bro, I don't really be talking to you. So, and he was like, okay. He says in his confessional that he knows that she's not going to be like this a week from now or a month from now or two or three or four. And I'm like, bro, when you going to stop counting? Like, we get it. She's not going to be like this. But I'm like, you don't know that this girl don't don't eat, don't talk while she eat. Like, certain things, it's like, bro, if I'm sitting down with you eating, I'm pretty sure that you know that I don't eat while I talk. Y'all, I have to make a whole nother website. I know, I know, I know. I, I know you like, what What are you talking about? I have to make a whole nother website site for my final, and I'm freaking stressed because I have wasted, wasted. I've used my entire life for my first website. Y'all, I talked about the Sims. I talked about food. I talked about freaking my businesses. I talked about my jewelry. I talked about everything. And now I got to come up with a whole nother website talking about what? What do I have in my brain to talk about? I don't, what? 
I'm sorry. I, it's just like right here. It's like this is the forefront of my brain, and it's like right here, right where this little archery is. That's where it's at, and I just need to get it done by the 14th. Sorry. So moving on. We see Sinjin and Tanya. They're going to meet her family for, you know, the first lunch. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody's happy. He's holding a baby. They all looking at him. they like, oh, when you going to have a baby, bro? Let me tell you something. Um, my husband's family used to do that. Like, do you know how annoying that is? When are we gonna have a baby? When y'all gonna have a baby? Blah, 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 blah. Like, that is so annoying. And Sinjin is like, they pressuring me. It's already a baby in the family. Tanya be pressuring me. And Tanya said, I have a biological clock. Like, I have a clock ticking inside of me saying that I need to have babies now. Like, I'm 29 years old. And I'm like, darn, I didn't know your clock be ticking when you like 35 or something. Like, girl, you clearly have enough time to get pregnant. But anyway, the meat and potatoes of this story is that um, homegirl is going to Costa Rica for engine has to stay there. The reason why she's going to Costa Rica for a month is because she wants to learn um, herbalism and she couldn't put this off any longer and she couldn't have him come after Costa Rica. And I'm like, how, why, why couldn't you have him come after Costa Rica? So yeah, she, he just gonna have to wait for her to get back. So that's going to be great. That's great for their relationship. And um, her sister is like, this isn't going to work. She's trying to do everything in such a short amount of time. And I'm like, yeah. And he said that he was going to be the only white guy in the family. Her sister is obviously white. The, um, they're, they're not Afro-Latina. What? I think the dark the darkest skinned person in the family might be Tanya. She may be have some Afro Latina in her, but it seems like her family is Latina, but their ethnicity is Latina, but their race is white. So what are you talking about? I'm sorry, that got on my nerves. Cause people be thinking that Latin is a race and it's not, it's an ethnicity. That's why there's such things as Afro Latina. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We see who, who, uh, we got Robert and Annie, and we got Anna and Marcel. Let's go with Robert and Annie. This is going to be real quick. Why do that boy be hanging, why do Bryson be hanging off of Annie's neck like she a damn uh, monkey bar? And she just be letting him. And Robert was looking, and I'm like, damn, you can't tell your son to stop death gripping her neck like that? Anyway, so they haven't been communicating ever since. She asked him to delete the photos of him with other women off of his uh, Facebook, and he declined. Now, okay, let's move on. So they go to, um, he says he doesn't want to let go of the pictures with his kids involved. But I said, is she really asking you to get rid of pictures with children in them? Or did she say with other women? Because I don't remember her saying when they sat down last week. But I put this shit so far out of my brain. I don't remember her saying, delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. I don't remember him her saying that. I remember her saying, delete the pictures with women that you have been sexually involved with. Because that doesn't make me feel good. And you said cut it so i'm confused anyway so they go to a boxing instructor i thought the boxer instructor was cute but he's not okay you want to know why because tlc had to pay this man bro when i tell you this man first of all of course he was bilingual of course of course because being a tlc extra you have to be bilingual because now you're a marriage counselor and at the end he said well what would I know I'm not a marriage counselor and I feel like he is a marriage counselor because it was like he asking questions you know all of the questions was normal they weren't even boxing I'm like y'all done paid all this money to, to, to stand around and talk to this man about y'all problems anyway I feel like my eyebrow right here is is little don't worry about that y'all I'm about to take these eyebrows off put a bonnet on my head and play the sims and i will have my sims video up tomorrow but when i tell you it's like 
an hour and 15 minutes long and I don't I know don't nobody want to see an hour and 15 minutes of Sims so I'm trying to whittle it down to about 30 minutes okay so just bear with me it will be up on tomorrow no tomorrow's Tuesday it'll be up tomorrow so um I may be doing a video every day for the month of December who knows um I may more than likely I will because I'm trying to I'm sorry I'm sorry I gotta work on staying on one topic anyway so everything was good until the boxer is like do you have any concerns with him to Annie and Annie was like oh yeah Annie's voice is so raspy I love it though she like oh yeah he won't delete his um his pictures of his exes and then they go into this whole thing and I'm sitting there and I'm like is this real life? This cannot be real life. This man is sitting there as the boxing instructor, listening to their problems. And I said, this has to be somebody that TLC paid. Because what the hell? I'm an introvert, so I don't want to hear your problems. I don't want to hear nothing. I want to keep our relationship how our relationship is, especially if I'm supposed to be your boxing instructor. But he was asking questions, and he was like, oh, so how does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? And I'm just like... It was annoying, okay? That's what it was. All of that was annoying, and it was irritating me. And at that moment, I don't know when it came up on my screen. Was it in the first hour or the second hour? But regardless, irregardless. <laughs> I know it's not a word. <laughs> irregardless of the fact. <laughs> I was I was done at that moment. When that man looked at it, looked at me in the camera and said, I'm not a marriage counselor. I said, TLC, where's life after lockup? Okay. Can it be January 3rd? You know what? It can be January 3rd. I will be ready to pay another month of rent for me to see life after lockup. Okay. And that's deep. That's deep. So anyway, they go, oh no, my light. Okay. It's fine. Um, Robert goes to meet Stephanie and Ben, and the Bryson's grandparents, and they basically talk. Um, Stephanie says that she wants to make amends with what she said to um, Annie about birth control. Ben says, look, you be talking about all of these things that Annie can do for you. Are you just looking for like a babysitter or a maid? And he's like, how can you say that? I mean, how can he not say that? You talking about, oh, I can I can work and I can, and, and someone can watch Bryson. Like, bro, this is your child. You watch your own child. And so... Stephanie and Ben say they want to be invited to the wedding. Robert says he's only going to invite them to the wedding if they, you know, talk to uh, Annie and get this all worked out. Um, Stephanie's and Stephanie and Ben's main concern is that Annie would basically keep them from seeing Bryson, and Robert was like, "That'll never happen because that's your grandchild." So boom. <sighs> And that's the end of the story. I was about to say that's the end of the episode. But we got to talk about Anna and Marcel, bro. Okay, who cares? They, she, I'm going to give you a very, very brief version of what happened and only point out the parts that made me want to melt into my couch. Like, have you ever, have you ever just wanted to melt into something and just like not be where you are anymore? That's what I wanted to do. She says that, she has so much to worry about. She's planning a wedding, so she's making honey, honey party favors for the wedding. And he's making a uh, honeycomb um, wedding display. I don't know what that man is making. Anyway, she says that she has so many things to worry about, like cultural differences, and if the boys and him will get along. And then she says, and I also have to plan the wedding. And I said, are we... Are we out of our mind right now? You're sitting here saying, I don't know. I don't know about our cultural differences and if he'll get along with the boys, but I'm still going to plan a wedding. Y'all, I, okay. So he's like, come outside. I want you to see the, um, 
see the thing. He go outside. Well, she go outside. She saw. He shows her the thing. Then, um, she asks him, "Are you nervous about the wedding?" He says, "I'm a little nervous." She says, "Why?" Because my leg is itching. That's not what he said. He says he's a little nervous. She says, "Why?" He says, "Because of the boys." She says, "Why?" He says, "Because one of the boys said Marcel is stupid." And she says, oh, do you want to talk to the boys about that? And I said, what kind of fucking, I'm sorry, this is going to sound a little bit mean, but this kind of, like, what kind of fucking kids are you raising? I understand that kids will do things, but, like, you should have nipped that right in the bud. You should have walked your ass in the house and slapped that boy in the mouth, whichever one of them said it. Said, don't say that shit no more. And not just to him, to anybody. Why? Because he speaks a different language. He's stupid. Like, come on. That that didn't look right. She's like, so do you want to talk about it? He's like, no. She says, okay, well, you know, it seems like every time I ask you a question, you're just like, yes, no, or maybe. He says in his confessional, he does say that. So he can, um, so he can, you know, dodge the questions. And... <sighs> She's like, well, we need to work on our communication. And he's like, I think that the kids are spoiled. And she's like, I'm not talking about the kids anymore. And he's like, I know. And she's like, but you're talking about the boys. And he says he doesn't want to have any of these like hard-hitting conversations with her because he'll know that they'll have arguments. He said this in his confessional. And she's like, um... She's angry that he doesn't understand her. And, you know, they, she says that it feels like they rely too heavily on Google Translate. And then when it doesn't work, then they're just able to say, oopsie daisy. And so she says she doesn't know if she wants to get married because he doesn't listen. She shows him the phone. He says, ha ha, yes. And she's like, are you laughing at me? And she goes in the house. But I don't know. Did he understand? Did he not understand? Who knows? Okay. But in the next scene, all of that is washed away because she's going wedding dress shopping with her friend. She's going wedding dress shopping with her friend. They trying on dresses. She looking at dresses. She like, okay, yeah, this dress, that dress, this dress. All the dresses that she, she only had two. The two dresses that she picked were ugly, but she liked the second dress a lot. Then her friend was like, so, you know, you cool? And she like, yeah, 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 he's the one, he's the one. I'm like, girl, are you trying to convince me or are you trying to convince yourself? Because I don't really feel it. And she just looked like she was about to cry. And then she started crying. And then her friend is like, are you okay? And she like, yeah, I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. Every, yeah, yeah, everything will be fine. And I'm like, girl, I don't think everything's going to be fine. But anyway, that's the end of the episode, the end of this, I was about to say, the end of the series. Oh, y'all, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I am, I'm a little bored. I'm a little tired, you know, um, after I finish uploading this or after this, ed I edit this and upload this, then, you know, tomorrow I will do nothing. I mean, unless I have to absolutely do something, but tomorrow I will do nothing. Tomorrow I won't move a muscle. Well, kind of want to clean the house. <sighs> tomorrow I'll clean the house. Then, you know, I'm back to like real life on Wednesday. So anyway, if you all like this review, you can like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Everything else you need to know about me will be down below. My name is Brielle. I make beats. I sing songs. If you like what you see, come on along. Bye.